Hey everybody, welcome back to Unbelievable English. Today, I'm going to be introducing you to a game called Wango. Wango is a race. It's a race to collect sets. Sets of information. We're going to be traveling around a beautiful little map. We're going to be collecting beautiful little bears. And we're going to be trying to get tokens of knowledge. And by doing that, we're going to race ahead to become the most knowledgeable bear in the kingdom. Come on, I'll show you the game. So, let's talk about the components for Wangdo. Wangdo is a really, really well-produced game, and the components are gorgeous. So let's talk about them. The first thing you're going to see, obviously, is the player is the main board, which represents a giant map. And on that map are a whole bunch of different villages that we'll be traveling to. And as we travel to each village, we're going to be trying to gain knowledge. We're going to try to learn. And that's represented by these tokens. So here's a, a war token. We're going to learn about war a little bit. You can see it's got a bow and an arrow, and it's got a, a sword or a knife. And it's also got this really, really interesting little seal or coin. And this is going to be important throughout the game. So we've got our map, our board, and we've got all of these tokens on it. You'll notice that Four of the tokens out on the map have these bears on them. And that means that these are actually going to come off the board and we're going to put random bears into those towns. That's going to be important later when we talk about gameplay. But for now, we'll just put these here. And let's look at those bears. Let's look at those bears because these bears are pretty fantastic. There are four colors. There's the orange bear. The white bear. The blue bear. And the black bear. And these aren't really bears. They're bear statues. We, the players, will be using these player boards. And let's take a look at one of them. So this is the Red Panda's player board. All the player boards look the same in terms of what you need to accomplish and what you need to get. But everyone has a different type of bear. But the, this part of it will remain the same. This is for a three or four player game. And this is what you need to collect in order to end the game. It's a race to see who can collect these tokens first. Anytime you finish a column, if I can get two of these pagodas or towers, then I'll be able to collect a card. The cards are pretty, pretty intense. We're going to talk about those cards in a minute. This is what a three- or four-player game looks like. If we're playing the two-player game, we'll use the other side, and you'll see that you have to get one more token per column. So there's the red panda. You can see it. There's a, a, a regular panda, a bear, a black bear, and a, I don't know what he is, a gray bear. This isn't very important, but these are our first player markers. So for most people who play the game, this is our first player marker. But if you're kind of special and you get one of the promos, then you get to have this gold bear. And this gold bear, the only thing this guy does is tell us who the first player is. It's the first player marker. This is a very important piece of the game. This canvas bag is full. of bears. So you you can blindly draw bags. You can you can draw three bears without looking from this bag on your turn. That's one of the actions you can take. Over here you'll see that there are temples. So I'm going to move the, the board a little bit, bring it a little closer. And you can see that there are there is a, a there are black temples, blue temples, white temples, orange temples. 
that will come into play during the game as well. Uh, I have the, the board set up pretty much for, for a game. Uh, this is for a three or four player game. And you can see that we start the game with one bear in each of the temples. All right, let's get to the hard thing. Let's get to the really juicy part. Let's talk about these cards. These cards are very, very scary looking. They're very scary because of all the English. But what does it say here? It says, put up to three of your stells in the bag. Then draw one more than you put in. So this card lets you put bears back into the bag and then draw new ones plus one more. So you get an extra bear. A stell, a stell is like a monument. It's like a type of uh, monument or statue. And that's what the game calls these bears. The game calls these bears stells. We're going to call them bears. We're going to call them monuments. Or we can call them stells in the game. Look at his little tail. Very cute. And they're, they're pretty well illustrated. So you can see, you can put three in and take four out. This one says, place one stell on a village. You still have to pay the cost. And we'll talk about the cost. We'll talk about what you have to pay when we talk about gameplay. When you pay the cost, pay one less stell. So when you pay to, to build a new bear, you can ignore one of the other bears that you have to pay. And we'll talk about that again when we talk about gameplay. When you place your stell, and or pay the cost, you can ignore the colors of all stells. This means, and again, we'll talk about it during gameplay, but there are specific color requirements that you have to fill. If there's an orange bear in this town and a white bear in this town, they're both connected, you have to be able to pay those two before you build a different color in a new town. That's essentially what you have to do. That's part of the game. We'll talk about that when we do gameplay, but that's what it comes down to. And this card allows you to ignore colors when you're doing that. That's very, very useful. Take one stell, take one bear from another player's reserve. Well, a reserve is their kind of personal stash, the bears they have in front of them. You can steal a bear from somebody else. That's what it says. Steal a bear from somebody else. Exchange. That's a really important word. Exchange. Trade. Up to two of your stells. Remember, stells are bears. Exchange up to two of your stells, two of your bears, with other players. That means take two of your bears or... This is really important, the up to here. Exchange up to, you can do one if you want. You don't have to do two. Exchange up to two of your stells with other players. So this says, switch the position of two adjacent pieces. And it says here that can be either the stells, the bears, or the tokens, remember. That's a token. Switch the position of two adjacent. What does adjacent mean? We've learned that before. Next to. Switch the position of two adjacent pieces, whether they're stells or tokens. And simply, this card at the end of the game is worth two dragon seals. That's the coins that I pointed out on the token. Those are tiebreakers later in the game. We'll talk about that later. All right, guys, so we're ready for gameplay. We're set up for a three-player game. And I'm gonna finish this up now, and then we'll begin to play. So we did rock, paper, scissor, and the orange player, rock, uh, the red panda, as the first player token. So he's going to be going first throughout the game, and the white player and the um, black player will be going. So we'll go first, second, third throughout the game. Now, we've got all of the tokens set up on the board. Our four starting bears are in their temples. The cards are set up and to the side. 
The last thing we have to do before beginning to play is to put out some bears. So we're going to take those four bear tokens and take them off the board. One, two, three, and four. And we'll replace those with bears randomly drawn from the bag. So here's the bag. Just put one bear, two blue bear cards, or go there, on each one of these towns, on each one of these villages. So two blue bears, a white bear, and an orange bear in the village. Okay. So the next thing that's going to happen is each player in turn is going to reach in and take three bears for their reserve. So the orange bear is starting with two black bears and a white bear. The white player is starting with a blue bear, a white bear, and a black bear. And the black player over there has a white, blue, and orange bear. One of each one. And those would be their starting ones. And remember, this, this gold bear doesn't do anything. He's just telling us who's starting the game. That's all that does. So he's going to sit right on the red panda's tail. All right, so it's the first player's turn. And the first player has a bunch of actions he can choose from. Remember, the first thing the first player can do is take three bears from the bag. That's the first action he can take. The second action he can take is he can take two bears from the temples. So that way he can control which colors he takes. He gets one less, but it's not random. He gets to choose the colors he wants. The third option he has is to go out onto the board and travel to a new village and gain some wisdom. So the red panda is looking at his options. He doesn't love his options. So what he's going to do is he's going to reach into the bag. He's going to choose to take three random bears from the bag. So he reaches into the bag, and he takes three bears. He got a white bear, a blue bear, and a black bear. So now he has six bears. The maximum number of bears you can have is ten. He has six. So now it's the white, pan the white panda's turn, the white player. And he's going to look out on the board. And he likes what he sees a little bit more. He wants to build a village. He's looking, he's looking. He wants to build a village right over here. Now, you can only go to a village next to a bear. So there has to already be a bear out on the, on the map. So our starting points are this town over here, this town over here, this town, and this town. You can go to any town connected to those. And there are two rules when you want to go to a new town. The first rule is you cannot build or put a bear statue of the same color as any of the towns next to it. So what does that mean? Well, here, if I want to go build here, which is what the white player wants to do, he cannot build a blue bear in this town. He can't do it. He's got to build any other color because there's only one bear connected right now. So he's going to look and he's going to say that he's going to build a black bear statue. So he's going to build this black bear in this town. Now when he builds that black bear there, he can take that token. So he's going to take this token, which you can see has one of those golden seals we were talking about. So we're, he's going to add that to his set of incense holders. But first, he has to finish. So he built a black bear in this town. And the next thing he has to do, this is where it gets a little tricky, is he has to match the bears in all of the towns next to that town. So if you look at the lines connecting them on the map, this town is connected to three other towns. There's only one town that has a bear in it. So he has to match that bear, the color and the number of bears. So there's one blue bear in this town that's next to where he put his black bear. So he has to take a blue bear from his reserve and match. And then that blue bear is going to go into the blue temple right there. And that's what the turn looks like. So the white panda already has his first token. He's got an incense holder. He's gained some wisdom about incense or religion or something. So he's putting that into his, onto his board to mark that he's finished the first part of that set. 
And then that's the end of his turn. So now it's the black bear's turn. And the black bear, he's going to come over here. He sees that this is a good starting point where this orange bear is. So he's going to move down the road to a connected town. And he's going to build a white bear in this town. And that's going to let him collect this pagoda or tower token. Also, it has another seal that's really good for him. So he's excited to get that. And he's going to put that into his onto his board in the right place. But now, remember, there's one last thing he has to do. There is an orange bear connected to that town and the town next to it and the town adjacent to it. So he has to match that bear. So he's going to put that orange bear in the orange temple and that's the end of his turn. We're right back to the red panda, the orange player. And he's looking around and he likes what he sees. So he's going to come right to where uh, one of his opponents went and he's going to go to the town next to that. So he sees there's a white bear here. He's going to match that white bear in the town adjacent to where he wants to go. And then he's going to build a black bear in this town. And that will gain him this book token. So he's going to put that on his board. And that's the end of his turn. He's going to put the white bear in the temple. And now it's the white player's turn. And the white player only has one bear. Can't do a lot with one bear. The white player is going to choose to reach into the bag of bears. He's going to take three bears. He's taking three bears. He's got two white bears and a white bear. He's a white player and he's got lots of white bears. And at the end of his turn, it's a very quick turn. The white player's turn, he only has one bear. So he, he's also going to reach into the bag of bears. And he'll pull out, oh, he pulled out four. That's not right. So he'll put them all back. And he'll take three this time. Bang, bang. An orange bear, black bear, and a green bear. He'll put those in his reserve. And now it's the orange man's turn. Or the red panda, but he's the orange player. Uh, okay. So it's his turn, and he's looking around, and he has decided that he's actually going to, he's going to uh, come over here and he's going to match the blue bear in this town. And then he's going to travel all the way up here to the edge of the map so he can get this token. He's going to put that on his board and he's going to build a black bear in that town. He'll put the blue bear in the temple. And now it's the white player's turn. And the white player is very pleased. He knows what he's going to do right away. He's going to take his black bear. He's going to match the bear in that town that, that the orange player just went to. And he's going to build a white bear in the town adjacent to that, the town next to it. And all of a sudden, he now has two seals and two token. So now he's got a pagoda token or a tower token, whatever you want to call him. He's going to put that on his player board. He's going to put the black bear in the black temple. And now it's going to be the, the black player's turn. The black player is going to... Well, let's talk about this. Let's take a minute because the black, the, the black player here would really love to get this token from this village right here. This token is a war token. It's got a seal on it. Um, that's a great token, but it's a very expensive token because he would have to match three bears. There are three bears touching, adjacent to, next to this town. So he would have to match the blue bear here, the white bear here, and the black bear here. He doesn't even have any white bears, so he's not going to do that. What is he going to do? He's going to match the blue bear in this town. He's going to go down here to this town over here. He's going to build a, let's see, maybe an orange bear in this town. He's going to put an orange bear in this town. And he's going to get a pagoda token, a tower token. And he has finished his column. We'll talk about that in a second. But first, he's going to put this blue bear into... The temple. Now you'll notice this temple is full. The blue temple is full. We're going to take the bears from that temple. We're going to put them back into the bag. We're going to mix up the bag. I like to leave one bear out. 
because that leaves options for the other players. That's a bit of a house rule, maybe. And I'm going, he, well, he is going to take one there because he finished the temple. He filled the temple, and when you fill a temple, you put bears back in the bag, and then you get to take one bear for yourself. So he's got a new bear there, and he finished his column of towers. So he's going to get a seal card. Now this is really nice for him, because right now, remember, this isn't important until the end of the game. But right now, he has one seal, two seals, three seals. And on this card, there's a special power he can use. If he uses the power, he loses. He will have to discard the card. So for right now, he has three seals. When we play this game with some of our less advanced students, we won't use the powers on the cards. We'll just use the cards as seals. And remember, the seals only matter at the end of the game if there is a tie. First and foremost, this game is a race. You are racing to fill your board first, to finish all of your sets. So the black bear's turn is finished. It is the orange player's turn. He has one white bear and one black bear. What does he want to do? I think he wants... Pay a black bear, so he's going to match the black bear in the in the town here, and he's going to move to the adjacent town here. And even though he won't get the seal, he'll put a white bear in this town. He'll take this token, no seal, but he will finish his incense holder row, and that means that he will get a coin, or not a coin, a seal. Doesn't matter what. And he'll get a card. Now again, for our less advanced students, we're not even going to play that card. We're, ne we're never going to play the card. We'll just have the seal. For more advanced students, you'll have a choice. Either you keep the seal until the end of the game, or you use the power to race ahead and try to finish faster. So now it's the white bear's turn. He's got two white bears, and that's not the only card. So he is going to reach into the bag of bears. He's going to take three. No, two whites and orange. And that would be his turn. Now, I think we can, we can stop that. We can put that black bear in the temple. I think we can stop playing there. I think that's a pretty good sample of how the game plays. To win the game, you have to race ahead and complete all of your sets first. Once a player has completed their sets, once all of their token spots on their board are full, then we finish that round, so if it's the second player who finishes first, then the third player will have a chance, and then the game will end. So we would go one, two, he finishes, three, stop right there. If these guys both finish in the same round, then you will count the number of seals that you have to determine who wins. If everybody has the same number of seals, we have a tie. Ties are great because every, well, more than one person gets to win, and that's lovely. But if one person has more seals, then they are going to win. And that's how you play this game. And then it's a race to the finish. And that's how we play Wango.